good afternoon beautiful people welcome to another vlog so today is so today is sunday february 21st i believe and i am starting a new vlog i just posted my vlog today from last week and you guys loved it or you're loving it so i'm happy about that i'm actually about to head out and get something to eat and kind of like look around um i have to go grocery shopping today so we're doing that you know the drill whenever we're in here i'm about to show you my outfit i'm very much natural today um literally girl i ain't even try with the edges <laughs> okay did not try with the edges i was really not feeling like doing my hair or anything like that but i do want to like go out so i have on this cute little outfit we're doing, we're giving brown again today. Y'all, I mean, I always say this, but y'all just know the, the beauty room is junky at this point. I go in and I clean it probably like once a week or whatever, but after I finish recording, like it stays like this for a while. And it's not that junky, but it's just a lot of clothes right here. All right, so let's get into the outfit today. I've been really into browns lately. So I have this bodysuit here on from Naked Wardrobe. I have this scarf from, I think, H&M. This little puffer jacket here from Shein. Um, again, my bag is from Princess Polly. And then I got these little shoes here. I got so long ago from Miss Lola. I decided just to pop them back out and girl, they are super comfortable. So yeah, I love this little outfit that I have going on. All right. All right, that's really it. So extra, but I know I'm the same. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like, oh my, all good all day, but the night we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me what. Hi, how are you? Can I do um, a cup of the honey vanilla bean? Yes. I'd rather be on that way. Trying to control our emotions. If we on a rise out of passion, we could share love in the ocean. But if you want to go insane, either way, baby, we could go on it. All right, good afternoon, you guys. It is actually the next day. I really don't have much going on. It is Monday, February. Uh, it is Monday, February 22nd. Um, yeah, I don't have much going on at all. Like literally, I've just been, I've just been in communication with my manager, answering emails, solidifying collaborations for next month, um, picking clothes, and that's really it. I haven't really did much today. Zane is not feeling well. He had like diarrhea all throughout the night. Like I woke up at 3 a.m. and then I actually took him outside because he didn't want to go inside which i'm like proud about because like okay i'm glad that he doesn't want to go uh use i'm glad that he doesn't want to use the bathroom inside but you know it's not safe <laughs> going outside at 3 a.m but i did um take him out at 3 a.m um and you know immediately he pooed or whatever i think around like 6 a.m it was like 5 6 a.m or whatever he wanted to um he had to use it again because like he farted <laughs> what is it oh yeah like he was just like really he was like scratching at the end of the bed and like, like if y'all know his cage is like at the end of my bed so he was like scratching at the end of the bed he usually don't do that unless he like really has to use the bathroom i was like yeah i'm not going back outside because it just really takes too much like in an apartment to like take your dog outside like if i was on the first floor okay but like i'm not going back outside so i just like put a puppy down puppy pad down he ended up using it on the puppy pad or whatever he didn't want to but he really had no choice because like i said he had to run so yeah but I scheduled him a vet appointment um, I'm actually feeding him a bland diet right now um, which is uh, boiled chicken and white rice no seasoning no nothing or whatever just boiled chicken and white, white rice to kind of um, help his tummy I haven't changed up his diet no new treats or anything like that I've been getting the same thing that I usually get he may have ate something um outside on our walls so yeah so today is just a bland diet for him and just really monitoring him um throughout the day and like i said if it gets worse um 
if it hasn't cleared up by tomorrow or then the vet said like you know just to kind of bring him in um it won't be to his primary doctor but still he's still very much playful he literally loves to eat so he hasn't lost his appetite or anything like that so he may have just like ate something just got to upset his tummy or whatever i'm gonna show you he's laying on the floor right now zane can you say hello to the people <laughs> he's not you side eyeing him you say hello to the people no mm. he's sleeping so yeah sorry about that long update nothing is planned today like i said i'm really just much chilling um I, i'm supposed to get my couch this saturday so fingers crossed hopefully i am so ready 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 for this couch you guys like if you know or if you're new to my channel hey girl i'm rude like you know join the fam or whatever click the subscribe button down below hey, your girl do videos on beauty fashion and lifestyle so yeah join the fam i put my old couch into storage and um which was just so dumb of me but i didn't want to move it into here because a lot of other reasons but i should have moved it into here because i've been sitting on balcony furniture um for the past like what almost two months now um because i moved in here at the end of december and it's almost march and i'm so excited i'm so ready for this couch you guys because like one i just kind of feel like it really completes my area even though i have other little things that i need to do such as getting a coffee table a rug and things like that um it still completes most of my space but yes, I am so ready for this couch because I'm just tired of sitting on this balcony furniture. It's not enough room, okay? It's not. And then I'll be sliding off. I have two videos that I'm going to post, which is the um, a day in the life of an influencer video. I think I'm going to post that tomorrow, which is Tuesday. By the time this video goes out, y'all already have seen that. And then also the vlog. Um, that's the only videos that... Mm, excuse me that will be going up this week and then i'll start next month fresh with like new content things like that but y'all i just wanted to show y'all real quick i know i've been doing a lot of talking but i'll just update you guys but i just wanted to show y'all real quick i ordered my dress from fashion nova um i ordered two birthday dresses for fashion nova i just kind of wanted to see like you know how it's gonna look how it's gonna fit on your girl or whatever and i'm just like look at this i just got this package and look at this like why fashion nova like literally can y'all get a better packaging system because like what if my dress would have fell out like what if it would have fell out but anyway y'all have to stay tuned next week to see you know what i chose if it fit i'm about to try it good morning you guys wow i look so rough <laughs> where's your toy man i promise you like if you're new to my channel i promise you your girl can get cute i don't be looking like i do be looking like this on a daily but i can get cute um so today is February 23rd, it's Tuesday, it's about 4 o'clock p.m. Sorry if you hear his name, he's playing with his toy. Um, I really don't have much that I'm doing today. Like, I don't think that this week's vlog will be exciting because I don't really have much I'm doing. I am going, um, I plan to go shopping um, at the end of the week and then like I said, I'm getting my couch on Saturday so I'm so ready for that. Tonight I am going to be cooking. I'm going to make lobster tails. Um, I'm not sure what else i'm going to make with the lobster tail maybe some shrimp i'm not sure but uh you know vlog that process um what else <laughs> okay like oh, what else do i have like, i'm really kind of worried about zane to be honest with you yesterday i told you guys that zane was having some really like some issues um he was having like diarrhea and you know he woke up throughout the middle of the night so i fed him a bland diet the whole day yesterday um and i fed him the recommended amount based on what the vet told me um and he only like he only did number two one time yesterday he didn't do number two on, on his night walk and he did not do number two this morning but he did do number two i'm sorry like i keep saying it but he did he did do number two on his midday walk but it was still very very loose and also it was like a different color um and like very very much loose and i'm not exactly sure why um i'm like kind of nervous um 
to be honest like i call his vet he has an appointment on thursday but they told me to kind of monitor it and if i have like any other concerns then you know or if it's still happening then give them a call and um i called his vet they didn't answer so i have to call back again um just to see if i can get him in tomorrow because i just don't understand why and you know i'm a first time pet mom you guys like all i can do is just kind of like research and research so because like i don't want anything to be wrong like i just don't know and like i said maybe i'm overreacting this just makes me sad a little bit because that's my baby you guys know i love zane no matter how much i just be like zane 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 like i love him so much so i just want him to feel better i don't know if he has upset tummy like i don't know what's going on on the go pedal We have big plans for your pet. Thank you. Hi, Kiana. This is Daquan, Zane's mom. I was just doing a follow-up call from yesterday. Um, Zane, yeah. yeah, he... Okay. All right. I've got you guys in, so we'll see you and Zane tomorrow. Thank you. And just really quick, do you think that I still should just uh, feed him that bland diet still? I look really crazy right now. Um, but yeah, I'm just really sad. Like, I just want him to be okay. Um, because, like I said, this is probably like day three four i don't know because like when you read a lot of things on the internet it just kind of has your mind it kind of gets you really nervous like what they say because they'll like to say oh it could be this disease that disease and stuff like that so show the people yes you okay tell him wait sit down saying <laughs> see he's very playful oh shit. oh yes look he likes see he's still very playful with his toys <laughs> guys so this is dinner and i just have lobster 
mashed potatoes and shrimp. This is how it looks. And um, presentation, you know, I try to do a little bit of a plate presentation, but you know, this is how it is. So we're about to eat and yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> good morning you guys it is the next day which is february 24th and it is almost well it's nine o'clock um i'm about to head out and take zane to the vet um i may run a few errands today since it is a drop off generally with his drop off he's there for like a few hours for them to like monitor him and things like that so i may run a few errands today if i do you guys will come along girl got her own to go coffee um so yeah zane what are you doing? <laughs> so yes, I'm about to head out and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, I am headed to PetSmart to pick up Zane some things. Y'all know the drill. here because they're extremely expensive and they don't just be doing what I need them to do but I'm looking for a floor lamp but something like this that curves over I think that is super cute but I want something that's like black I do like this lampshade but I just kind of have a love-hate relationship with these type of lampshades because it just gives off a very yellow tint yellow light even if you get a daylight light bulb so y'all, this is literally like my favorite section in Target. This is the Joanna Gaines section. Uh, she just really just fits my aesthetics. It is a little bit expensive, I won't lie. But, sorry guys, if you can't hear me, I have my mask on. But it is very much worth it. Um, I just love all of the, you know, little decor things that she has. 
going on. I think it's just super cute. So I just kind of like to look around and see if there's anything new. Probably not. <laughs> but yeah. I like this area rug here, but I wish the area rug was kind of like a natural cream color. I think that would really, really be cute. Oh, oh, I like this little poof. This is super cute. So, is this $65? I like this poof right here. This section, I like this section too. I don't think this is, I think this is Target's brand, which is the Threshold. So I'm looking for an accent chair, but I'm not exactly sure which accent chair I want. I like this one because my couch is lighter, so I definitely want something that, you know, gives it a little bit of a contrast. But I also like this one too. And then I like this bench here, but I think this bench is too big for my area. Like I wish it was kind of like this size right here. <laughs> This is so pretty too. Yes, you tell me on the twenty third. to talk because they're playing music i don't want to get copyright so yeah Just finished from West Ham, didn't see anything that I liked. I was quite disappointed because I've been trying to go to West Ham for like a few weeks now. But it is what it is. I'm about to try and see if I can find something to eat for like lunch. Intrigued by the pompous grass. Do you sell the pompous grass? No. Okay, okay, no problem. All right, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, what's the call again? Okay. It's in the older Masterton building where like anthropology is. Okay, thank you so much. So far. Uh... Crazy. 
I'm gonna do the natural. But... And uh, um, so we've hairsprayed them to keep them together. So you wanna um, hairspray them maybe once every three or four mm -hmm. months just okay. to keep it all together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. But it'll last forever. You don't need to put it in water or anything like that. If I can turn the brightness down just a little bit. All right, so I made it back home. Um, it's about three o'clock. Um, Zane is still at the vet. Haven't heard anything from the vet yet, but again, like I said, it was a drop off. Um, and I forgot to bring my charger and I'm like on 9%. So I just came back home. I'm actually on the phone right now with my furniture company because they got something going on saying that I have a balance due and they can't, you know, deliver my couch because I have a balance due. And um, that's incorrect because like I told them, I pay in full. So, so now I'm on customer care. So now I'm on the phone with customer care um because i want them to see what's going on from the last clip y'all seen that lunch it was absolutely disgusting um i was trying out a new space and ugh, i didn't even eat it at all i got this patty melt they asked what temperature i wanted i said medium well and it came out looking like It came out looking rare in the inside, in my opinion. Um, so they completely comped the um, patty melt or whatever. So didn't have to pay for that. So that was good. But, mm -mm, like it was still disgusting. Like I got truffle fries that was still disgusting. Like, yeah. So anyway, so I got some stuff for Zane. Um, we got his, so I got some food for him. I just got whites for him. Um, so I, I'm trying out, I got a lot of wipes for him now that he needed all these wipes, but I wanted to try out some wipes just to see how they are. So I got the Burt Bees multi-purpose wipes for him. And then he's had this before, the only natural pet. And this has witch hazel in it. So got this. And then I also got the Earth Bath Tissue Wipes, which I always use these. Sorry, you guys, I'm trying to listen to see what caller I am. Um, so I won't miss this call because I've been waiting for a while. I was at number 35 and now I'm at 11. <laughs> yes, I like to wipe Zane down before he comes into the house after he's, you know, doing whatever he does. And sometimes it's nice to kind of like have these wipes to wipe his face and, you know, just give him a little fresh, little, little fresh cleanup or whatever. So yeah, I got all these wipes. And like I stated, I've tried these two before and I'm gonna try the Burt Bees. I also got him this little toy here. It's for um, St. Patrick's Day. And it just says, you know, lucky day, lucky dog. <laughs> it says a lucky dog or whatever. So I thought it was really cute. Just a little cute, little nice little toy for him. It'll be something different. I always go to Target, but I was a little bit disappointed today. I didn't really find anything, but I did find this and I really, really liked it. So I just couldn't give it up. And it's this tray right here. It has real, it's really natural, super cute. I love the texture in this tray. Girl, look at the nails. I'm here for my nails. But yeah, so I think this is so cute. And yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna, where I'm gonna put this at yet or um, what I'm going to put on it, if I will put anything on it, but I just got it. All right, next I went to a, um, I went to this flower shop. I forgot what it's called, but um, if I can remember, I'll like leave it up here on the screen. It's in case you're in Charlotte and you're wanting to get some. So it's called Book Out Blooms um, here in Charlotte. And they sell pompous grass. And I got some pompous grass to actually go. You guys know, I know, I know, I know. Like I literally have so many pompous grass <laughs> here in my place, but I just really like the look that pompous grass gives you. Um, so yeah, this one is a little bit different from the pompous grass that I have here in my apartment already. So I appreciate it. Like, you know, just the different looks and styles of pompous grass, if that makes sense. Um, this is called natural is what she told me. And it is a little bit more, I can't explain the type of this, but it's different than the other pompous grass that I have, that makes sense. This will be going into my room. Last place we went to was Sephora and girl. <laughs> I spent too much money in Sephora. I mean, too much money in Sephora. So what did I spend? 
I got my birthday gift as well. If you don't know, girls, my birthday is next, not next Monday, but the next. Yeah, so my birthday is in two weeks. It's March 8th, so I got my birthday gifts, and I also just kind of treated myself for my birthday. Like I said, I'm trying to get into um, some perfumes or whatever. So in Sephora, I spent $356.07. And I'll just leave this to the side so I can tell you guys like what I paid for each and everything. Some of the stuff was like re -up. I'm going to actually open it for the girls here on camera. But the first perfume I got is the Replica. And I got this in um, the scent Bubble Bath. Um, I think if I'm not mistaken, she told me this is a new scent that they just came out with. I was looking at the, I was looking at Springtime in a park. Um, but I just really didn't. I wasn't feeling it like it, it smelled good don't get me wrong but like I said I'm not a person that likes super sweetie sweet fruity smells and I feel like the bubble bath here um in the replica if this is how it looks I feel like this was very it smelled very fresh in my opinion so I got this and this was $135 the next scent I got is the Tom Ford and this is the girl. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try. She had pronounced it in the store, but I forgot. Metallic, 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 something like that. But yeah, this is how it looks. And I wanted to try, you know, something a little bit different. This one is giving me a little bit more of a fruity smell. I'm not a big fan of the packaging, but it's not a big issue. So this is how this looks. Can it focus? So this was, oh no, I did get this one. This was 150. Maybe the bigger bottle was like 180. I'm not sure. But anyway, this was 150. Next thing I got was the Fenty Beauty. This is the um, blotting powder. This is a universal um, Invisimat blotting powder. And then I also got the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. Um, I just really needed to re-up on this. And I got this in the color Espresso. I used this to contour with. And then the last thing I got was my birthday gift, which is the Laneige. Um, and what does it have in here? Um, so I got the Water Bank Moisture Cream, the Water Sleeping Mask, and then I got the Lip Sleeping Mask. And this is what these look like. I know you can't see it, girl, but yeah. All right, y'all, my battery's going dead, so I'll talk to you guys in a all right you guys so i made it back to the house picked up zane um they just sent him on with some medication so y'all i got the ivy pot scarf i'm showing y'all on the vlog because i'm not going to do a video on it i did get the uh scarf but it's a padded scarf so yeah and i got a few more things too all right now we got this big big package like oh my god y'all when i say it's big like y'all see this it is so big oh i mean god dang you would think that look at this y'all so i got the rihanna book i mean wow this is big she came out with a limited edition book it's only 500 copies being sold in the world and it's like a very extreme gigantic book but it was like a thousand and something dollars and girl no um, not that I wouldn't want to support her or whatever. And I mean, it's something about being, you know, very exclusive or whatever. I'm the only one who got this book or whatever. So when you come into my space, don't touch. You can look, but don't touch. But no, I was like, uh -huh. <laughs> it was $155 for this book. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is huge. Like, this is so huge. Okay. Oh 
I'm trying to take like a little. Girl, I gotta get on the um oh, the counter. <laughs> Cause this is so huge. Okay. Uh. Okay. Y'all, I am so extra, but I got to. Let's open this. So I got the book. It comes with a book stand, which is this right here. I don't really personally um, like the color of the book stand. I can see myself maybe spray painting this black. Um, I'm just not a personal fan of this book stand because it's just like, I don't know. Like it's, uh, it's just too bright and it's not, it doesn't fit my aesthetics. But y'all, this is the book. How freaking cute i love this so much this is super duper huge like oh uh, i didn't think it was gonna be this big i see this it literally is covering my whole top half look at that that is crazy so that's like huge so there's one on amazon but i really didn't like I'm gonna link both or whatever because it really just depends on your style. But anyway, so they had this one here and I don't know if it's the same. But this is 134. Can you see it? Yeah, that right here is 134 and it had this, like this color. I don't know, like even whenever I look at people, like they have, it's like this. It's not the same, like, I think this is different. So like I said, I'll show you the one on Amazon. I mean, I'll link the one on Amazon as well, but this one looks completely different. And I really, really like this one because it's very subtle. It's not a bright pink. I like the black and gray. And then the hint of like, I don't know what you would call this, but it's kind of like a, it's like a glittery pink or whatever, but it's very, very, very light. The other one is like a hot pink. I don't know, these are pictures like from people that um, have purchased the book on Amazon. But as you can see, the other one is like a hot pink here on the spine. And then it's just a different picture. And not to say that it's not cute, um, but this one definitely fits my stuff. Hey y'all, so it is the next day, um, what, the 25th? Yes, it's the 25th, Thursday. I'm headed to go and get my nail repaired this one i don't know if you can see because i'm driving i'm actually running really really late right now um i'm not late um the she said to come by at 12 30 and <clears throat> um it says i'm gonna be there at 12 31 but i just don't like not being on time for like an appointment you know what i mean like a dinner or so it's just like a different thing but like an appointment uh i just hate not being on time for an appointment but anyway, so yeah, I'm going to get this nail repaired because um, it's like low-key like my birthday nails, which I wish I would have waited to get my nails done because, um, you know, like my birthday is like next Monday, not next Monday, but the next and like I just got a fresh feeling. So <laughs> what was I doing? What was I thinking? So I wish I would have waited, but honestly, it is what it is, whatnot. But it's not that serious. I'm not, I don't have anything extravagant planned for my birthday because, oh yeah, I'm gonna make it through this light. Come on, let's all go. I don't have anything extravagant planned for my birthday because like, um, you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic. There ain't really nothing much like going on or whatever. But um, yeah, um, this is just like a little small chit chat while I'm in the uh, car or whatever. I wish I would've brought my lip gloss. But I had this one girl comment on my um, video and she was like, you say, you know, she said she liked my content, you know, thank you girl. But she was like, I say, or whatever too much. And I was like, okay, well, you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna stop. Okay, I'm not gonna stop or whatever. <laughs> You know she got so mad about that from what i could tell she was like my attitude was horrible and this is the quickest she's ever subscribed and unsubscribed from a channel and da, 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 da. And i'm like okay 
like, girl, you is mad? Like, why are you so mad? Like, please let me know. Like, why are you so mad from how I talk or what I say? <laughs> I never knew that would, like, really be an impact for some people. But, yeah, like, I'm just here to say, you guys, like, I do say or whatever because i know i get a lot of comments about that so but girl like or whatever like what why are you mad that i say or whatever like regardless if it's excessive or not like that's just how i talk you know that's how we doing it or whatever like if it really bothers you that much just don't watch okay um and like i said i'm just addressing it. i'm just addressing it because a lot of people say i say or whatever a lot if it bothers you so much just don't watch me because you know your girl gonna say or whatever in some point in the video period i don't understand but it's not made for me to understand like it is what it is but i don't understand why certain people have like a problem with how people speak talk the way they say things or whatever like it just does not make sense to me i how does that affect your day because i won't eliminate one word how does that affect your life how does that affect your money because i won't eliminate one word i understand like you know you have a certain image that you have to maintain here on the internet because people are watching you and you know you kind of have to adjust and somewhat sort of say god damn like you, you have to somewhat adjust, sort of say, like how you um, how you present yourself online, and you know, maybe you're saying something that really bothers people or whatever, and you just gotta like adjust from there, if that makes sense. Like, I can see if I was calling people the B word, you know, constantly, you felt <clears throat> and you felt offended by that, or if I was really making some derogative like statements or whatnot. Like, I can see how that can offend you and I will have to adjust from there because it's like, all right, like, you know, you're not gonna have a channel, you're not gonna have a platform if you keep making these derogatory uh, statements. You get what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, you're not gonna really, you're not gonna really have a platform, you know, if you are doing certain things of the sort that really make people uncomfortable and it doesn't uplift your community, in my opinion. But girl, nitpicking, nitpicking because somebody says or whatever if somebody says sis or if somebody says period too much like that really affects your life like really like girl but baby it is what it is you know you can't please people i'm not trying to please people i really shouldn't even be addressing it or whatnot i might i might even take this portion out of the vlog because you know people love to think that you pressed if you say something about um something you know what i mean something that people have said and it's just like no baby I'm, I'm not pressed at all i'm just just trying to be putting things what the hell did i miss it oh god oh my god i missed the turn because i'm sitting here talking i'm already freaking late and it's traffic why is it traffic at 12 30 y'all i got a little bit of a road rage like good god i'm talking and running my mouth too much can i even make this u-turn baby like I think I can I think I can I was like no I'm not pressed about it at all I just wanted to make sense you know I want to put it in perspective for people like girl listen to what you're saying literally okay girl let me go in here all right so all right sis. so my nails are fixed that was a really really quick process um, I'm headed to pick up some food now, which is from the same place that I went the other day with my sister. It was so good. So I just like, okay, let me go. <laughs> and then once I get done eating, I'm probably going to take a nap because I'm lazy as hell. But on top of that, you know how you get whenever you have the itis, okay? Like, you know. Um, but anyway, oh, dang, Burger King is really packed. And see, I tried this Burger King, and it just disappoints me each and every time. It is so freaking disgusting. All right, girl, let's go in and get this food. Okay. All right, hey, you guys, it is the next day, February 26th, I believe. Yes, and 
it is 4 40 p.m i actually been cleaning all day i took a little bit of breaks in between and i also walked zane um but i just been cleaning all day just to kind of like prepare for my um couch tomorrow and then also like i'm still trying to get things together as well i'm um, sorry if the lighting is changing i'm moving because honestly like i don't feel that my place is just like in order i wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update i'm looking rough but i promise you i can get cute okay it's just one of them days i want to give you guys a quick update here in my room as well as zane so first zane um i don't know his like bowel movements are very very inconsistent um like he's been pooing like once a day um they gave him some medication he takes it once every 12 hours um for five days um so we are on the second day but his poo is very very much inconsistent um it's almost five o'clock and the last time he pooed was last what was it yesterday morning at 8 a.m i mean and maybe it's not that serious um maybe it's not a big deal or whatever um but it's a little bit nerve-wracking for me because like i said i'm a first time kind of like pet mom if that makes sense or whatever usually like whenever i had pets back in high school middle school like my parents would take care of it or whatever i would just play with it but me being like an actual pet mom now and like he's my responsibility like it's just a little bit nerve-wracking for me because i'm just like, okay like what's going on da 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 because like when you get on google i know i said this yesterday but it's just like so many things it's like it's just like whenever you sick and you get on um google and it tells you like, oh, okay your stomach hurts you about to die like that's how it is like with the what i'm reading about like zane and you know him having diarrhea him not pooing things like that so i'm just like so upset girls if you have a puppy a dog and they've experienced this please leave me something in the comments like make me feel encouraged i wasted like 70 something dollars on wednesday because um they did like a fecal test and they both were negative it was good to know that it was negative so it eliminated those options but i was just like 70 dollars then i had to pay for the medicine and then like i said he's still acting you know he's not he's still acting his normal self very playful um da -da -da -da, or whatever but he's just not pooing like nothing is wrong i'm still feeding him this bland diet or whatever the doctor told me i called them today and they told me to actually add some broccoli um, just to kind of get um that fiber in his system to you know get it going so we gonna hope and pray girl but i'm not gonna lie and tell you that i'm not upset and not stressed about it i'm just gonna give you an update here on the room all right so here's an update on the room just wanted to show you guys like what's going on don't mind this i'm swiffering the floors um i am still without a pillow um so that's why it looks uneven right now i got this pillow right here i was telling you guys that i had trouble sleeping and um i wanted to test out another pillow so i got this pillow at target it was ten dollars it was the only pillow that was left or whatever but i love the way that it felt in store so i was like, okay let me take it home whatever and it's doing the job but that i can just go online and just order another pillow but no that definitely is not the case like i have been to target several times you guys know y'all seen me <laughs> literally y'all have seen me go on target so many times in these vlogs and i always check the pillow section and it's never there and it's not available online so i may just have to get a whole new pillow or whatever but i just don't want it to be like super uneven but yeah so we're just without a pillow right now um my comforter like it's actually in the dryer right now but y'all y'all i have literally um dried that comforter now like three times and it is still not dry it is so hard to dry i may have to just take it out air dry it or <laughs> i'm gonna have to blow dry it girl because it's just crazy and i hate washing the comforter so i got the sheets and stuff back on the bed the comforter is in the uh dryer right now and then i kind of just wanted to show you guys like the pompous grass gallery they, <laughs> they played your girl on the pompous grass do you see that like what the hell what the hell like it looks so skimped like this looks so sick compared to this what the hell okay so I cut them down um, and I love how this look is absolutely beautiful, um, very much full, but we take our little stuff over here and this just looks sick. 
like super sick of course it's natural and i know that all the pompous are not going to look the same like y'all see that annoying like uh annoying <laughs> i try to leak everything down below but in case you're wondering the um nightstands are from value city furniture the lamp is from target the pompous grass is from a uh little boutique here in charlotte and the vase is from target same thing over here except for this hourglass i just picked up from home goods i believe yeah i think it's home goods um so it has a tag on it i just left it right there but it's not gonna stay right there girl because people be trying to say uh -uh, uh -uh, and it's like girl it's not staying there um i wouldn't recommend a white headboard like a tufted white headboard because girl it's dirty i just need to go in and spot clean it so i'm not going to um do a close-up of it this is a wingback headboard from overstock i got probably about five or six years ago i'm pretty sure it's no longer available but i do like these wingback headboards now i am going to show you the big reveal which is my dresser because your girl finally got her dresser all right so here is the dresser i absolutely love it i think it's so beautiful i also got this from value city furniture in case you're wondering and yes i will link it down below um but yes i really really love the look of this um if you notice, girl, this right here, if you can see the handles are the same as this. So very similar to my nightstand that I got from Value City Furniture. The only thing that's different is the legs. If you can see here, this is the legs of the nightstand. And then this is the legs right here of the uh, dresser, which is not bad. They actually had a dresser with the same uh, knobs or handles on it with the same legs as the nightstand like it comes in a set personally didn't like the dresser that looks exactly like the nightstand because it had like three small drawers up here at the top and then it came with a mirror and i know that i didn't want a mirror so um i settled for this but i'm so glad that i did because i really 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 like it and i think it's really beautiful and yes girl if you are new here i love white um i just can't get enough of it i've had white in my apartment since i first since i got my first apartment and i don't think i will ever deviate from that i just like how bright and airy it looks in a room like i promise you my room because it is so much white it's like the brightest in here and it's so pretty um but i am trying to like you see add color to it by these tan and the pompous grass or whatever so i am trying to add color to it i'm probably going to mount the tv more than likely um it wasn't my plan to mount the tv i know that i can get a lot more use out of this space here if i mount the tv i think that the depth of the drawer is decent you know what i mean like it, it is what it is one thing i don't like about it is that like it's a little bit hard like if you see it's a little i have to push it in it is a little bit hard to close so i don't really like that about it but other than that beautiful just to give you details here I got this Dior book from Amazon. I will link it down below. But as you know, we still got it in the plastic because we want to make sure this is where we want it to go. I got this little flower here from Home Goods, and then I got this candle from World Market. And then I have the um, this vase here that I got recently from uh, CB2. <laughs> so this is the next day it is february 28th sunday and i'm actually working on this vlog right now so i'm about to upload it um but anyway so i wanted to go i wanted to show you guys the couch and <clears throat> how it looks um it is like the restoration hardware cloud couch dupe um i got this one from value city furniture i absolutely love it 
I know a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with this couch. Um, not this one necessarily, but this with cloud couches in general because, you know, it's made of 100% feathers and, you know, it gives you that very, like, messy look. This is with it, like, fluffed up a little bit, um, as you can see. But, like, if I put my hand down in there, it's very... It's really really nice so as you can see with me just pushing down on it it gave that still it gave that like messy look I love it so much I don't know if you could tell but this couch is huge got a four-piece sectional um, it's all modular so I can kind of you know do whatever I want to do with it um, I got two armless and then two corners as you can see right here this is the corner this is how it looks from the back look at that super super duper huge so yeah it's super huge Let's add these little throw pillows usually i have all the blinds up and it just looks so pretty still need to get a rug coffee table um a floor lamp a plant over there but i think it's coming together so nicely and like i said i just threw some things on it and then this little um throw here from target girl this throw was only ten dollars from target so yeah this is what i just got going on i just wanted to show y'all what it is Alright, you guys so we're gonna end the vlog don't mind my hair we're gonna get this together this week or whatever but i wanted to come in and show you guys my couch before i end the vlog um i get the i got the value cd plush three piece sectional and then i added an armless chair they do have one with an ottoman but i wanted the armless chair so that's what i got it is super duper big i absolutely love it and yeah um they do have two different uh cushion options now i got the one that was 100 percent feathers um and they just recently like literally recently girl probably like last week came out with the comfort plus which actually has a different type of you know uh insert in it where it's not it doesn't give you that messy look so if you are interested in that sectional but you don't want that messy look i would definitely go with that type of cushion option but yeah um just want to show you that my battery's about to die i'll give you guys some updates next week as far as like my apartment because i have some other things i'm about to pick up today to add to that space but yeah this is ending the vlog thank you so much for tuning into this week's vlog i appreciate you guys and stay tuned for next week's vlog that is going to be like my birthday maintenance vlog you guys have a very great lovely sunday and i will see you next week Mwah.